Hey you guys, welcome back to another devotional with me guys. Today we're going to be talking about guidance and guilt. Please excuse the background guys. Um, this is pretty much a good time for me to record up um, for this week. So let's start with guidance. It says Psalms 25 verse 5 is the first one. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are God my Savior and my hope is in you all day long. Proverbs 1 5. Wise people can also listen and learn. Even they can find good advice in these words. Proverbs 16 verse 9. We can make our plans, but the Lord determines our steps. Amen. Romans 8 14. Those who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. And then some translations say, or are sons of God. So, guys, the scriptures again for guidance were Psalms 25 verse 5. Proverbs 1 5, Proverbs 16 9, and Romans 8 14. And then we're going to go to the prayer. It says, Good Father, I trust that you are leading my steps. You know how much I depend on your guidance. All my hopes are in you. Even when my plans crumble and there is a detour in my path, I trust that you have better plans than I do. You see the full picture. There are no mysteries to you. I trust that your ways are higher than my ways and your plans are better than the ones I pursue for myself. I yield to your leadership in my life and shrug off the worries of the unknown. You are a good and faithful leader. And then the question for guidance says, is there anything God can help guide you in today? And guys, also I'm feeling led um, for this video. I'm gonna leave a prayer below um, in the box for, for healing. The regular prayer that we do every day with these is different ones, but I'm feeling led to also include one for healing as well. So I'm gonna be um, doing that also. So now guys, let's go to page 62. We just read page 16, 61. Now we're on um, 62 and it'll be 63. And we're gonna talk about guilt. God is faithful and fair. If we confess our sins, he will forgive our sins. He will forgive every wrong thing we have done. He will make us pure. Amen. That's 1 John 1, 9. Isaiah 50 verse 7 says, The Lord and King helps me. He won't let me be dishonored. So I've made up my mind to keep on serving him. I know he won't let me be put to shame. That's Isaiah 50 verse 7. Psalms 34 verse 5. Those who go to him for help are happy and they are never disgraced. Philippians 3.13 says, I have not achieved it, but I focus on this one thing, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. Philippians 3.13. So guys, again, the scriptures for guilt are 1 John 1, 9, Isaiah 50 verse 7, Psalms 34 verse 5, and Philippians 3.13. And then the prayer says, loving God, Forgiver of my sins, may the purpose of guilt be that it leads me to reconciliation with you and with others. I don't want to be stuck in the cycle of guilt and shame that does nothing but punish me. You are the one who set me free, so I will be free. You have made me clean already. I am not too proud to say when I have messed up. Thank you that I don't need to live in the torment of could haves and should haves. I look to you the author and finisher of my faith to lead me into the fullness of forgiveness in Jesus name. Amen to that prayer for um, guilt and also um, the one on guidance. Amen. And then we're going to close with this prompting question. It says, why doesn't God want you to feel guilt and shame? You guys be blessed.